Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern well-equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co-curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School, the sky is our limit. I'm Chia Ambrose and I'm going to take you through P5 Science Lesson 1. Our topic today is the human digestive system. As you are seeing it on the chalkboard, it is the human digestive system. Uh, at the end of the lesson today, we have three targets to achieve. The first one, defining the digestive system in man and then defining digestion. The second target is knowing the organs that form the digestive system in man. And then the last one is giving the functions of parts of the digestive system. Uh, in our lesson, we have got a model that we are going to use as you are seeing it here. Uh, as you are seeing, we have got the word digestive system. And uh, a body system is a group of body organs that work together to perform a specific purpose in the body. Now, for this case, the human digestive system is the body system responsible for breaking down food into small particles that can be absorbed by the body. We have two words here that we have to know. The first word is digestive, and the second word is system. The word digestive comes from the word digest, and to digest is to break down. For this case, we mean breaking down the food that we eat. And then a body system, as I've said, is a combination of body organs that work together to perform a specific purpose in the body. Uh, the digestive system in man begins from the mouth, as you are seeing here on our model. This part is what we call the mouth. If you can check, you are able to see the teeth. And this is where we put food. And then food is first broken down by teeth. And that is what you call mechanical digestion because food is broken down mechanically. When we swallow food, the food comes along this passage. And the, this part that joins the mouth to the stomach is part E. And then before part E, we have got part D. We have got a passage here going to another body system, and that is the respiratory system. This way here is going to the lungs. And then when we go to the parts that are shown here on our model, we have got part B. Uh, part B is the epiglottis. Now, this part prevents food from going into the air passage when you are swallowing food and it tries to go this way and it reaches here. This part comes down here and then the food cannot continue and then it leads to choking. We have got part E, which is a passage leading food into the stomach. That is part E. And that part E is the gullet whereby it has got another name and that is esophagus. Uh, when the food comes here, it enters into the stomach and then it is stored temporarily. Now the stomach stores food for a short period of time 
or temporarily. The food continues coming down. And then from the stomach here, we have got this part. And this part is the liver, as you are seeing. And this liver has got another part inside, which is part D. And this part D is the gallbladder. This gallbladder stores the bile, which is produced by the liver, and then, the, and then that bile comes into part F. This part F begins from here up to here. And from here up to here is what we call the small intestines. And the small intestines have got two parts. The first part is part F from here up to here, and that part F is what we call the duodenum. Uh, when we reach here, we have got this part, which is the last part of the small intestines, and that is part J, and part J is the ileum. Now, when the food comes here, and then it reaches here, if it is not absorbed by the body, it cannot be absorbed again. But it continues until it reaches the last part. Now, when we reach here, we have got this part, this one down here, and that is part N, and that part N is the appendix. Uh, the food continues moving this way, but remember we had seen this part F because it is this part continues behind. And then we have got this, and this part is part G, and part G is the pancreas. Uh, the food continues coming this way, and then it reaches part Q. As you are seeing, part Q from here up to here, this part. And this part Q is what we call the rectum. Uh, when the rectum is full, then you pass out what has not been absorbed by the body, and that is what you call feces, and it passes out through part K. And that part K is what you call the anus. Uh, we have got these words that we have to read, we have to pronounce and master. And then, if I go to the functions of some of these parts, as we put food in the mouth, it is broken down by teeth. Then it comes into the stomach. The stomach stores that food temporarily, and in the stomach, proteins are digested. The food continues through the duodenum, and the fats are digested, and then... Here in the ileum, the food is absorbed by the body, or we say the food joins the bloodstream. And when it is not absorbed by the body beyond this part, and then it will come out as feces. As I said at the beginning of the lesson, we had three targets to achieve, and we have got the activity that we are supposed to do. Thank you for paying attention. Stay home, stay safe.